Hello, welcome to Messy Church. My name's Hannah and today I have come to the river. I thought I'd see what we can see on the water. It's a very low tide today. You can see some boats over here. There's a few seagulls out on the riverbed. We were hoping we might see a train go over the bridge. It seems quite quiet at the moment. Today we're going to be thinking about something really amazing that Jesus did on some water. We've got some music from Alan, Sarah's got some good activities to get you moving and we've got something really tasty for you to make as well. But first of all let's get started with today's story. Jesus told his disciples to go on ahead of him. Then Jesus walked up a mountainside to pray. Storm clouds filled the sky. Jesus could see the disciples in the boat. They were having trouble. The wind whooshed, the waves sloshed, the boat was tossed about. Suddenly, the disciples saw someone walking on the water towards them. They thought it was a ghost. Jesus called out to them, It is I, do not be afraid. The disciples still weren't sure. Peter said, if you really are Jesus, let me walk out to you. Jesus replied, come. Peter stepped out of the boat and began walking on the water towards Jesus. Then he looked at the wind and the waves and he became afraid. He started to sink. Lord, save me, Peter called. Jesus reached out and pulled Peter to safety. They climbed into the boat and the storm stopped. The disciples worshipped Jesus. They said, truly you are the Son of God. We're going to decorate some biscuits to be like the story. We have got some biscuits, some icing that we've coloured blue. We've also got some jelly babies and some other little sprinkles for decorating and we are going to decorate our biscuits to represent Jesus walking on water. Right, I'm going to put some sprinkles on mine to be like uh, the, the foam in the waves in the water. I'm going to Colour is your Jesus going to be? Bay. Good choice. And then I can put. You're going to put a Peter on as yeah. well. I think your Jesus has got slightly wonky feet. He'll be all right. We can we can make him stand up. This is what I made. Happy. This Jesus and me. Peter. Like the fish in the ocean. When you finish these, they're quite a good thing to eat. I wonder how the people in the story felt when they saw Jesus walking on the water. Strange, because the water is a liquid. You got it's not solid. Now, how can we eat them? <laughs> I think it's probably still a little bit wet. Here are our finished biscuits. They look so good. They were really fun to make. So maybe you could have a go at making your own biscuits to show Jesus walking on the water. Now I think there's just one more thing left to do, Daniel. Yeah, eat them. Eat them. Hi guys. So today for our fidget, I thought we could find some things around the house and see if they float or sink. Because our watery theme showed that Jesus stood on water and he walked on it, but Peter sank. So how about we find some things around the house and see if they float or sink. And then when I've done it, you can have a go later as well. Come on, I'll leave Carrot and Messy Snake behind and we'll go and see what we can find. Okay, so look at all the things I've managed to find. We're gonna see do they float? Do they sink? Let's try my animals first. What do you think? 
float or sink. Here we go. Plop, 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 plop. Ooh, my toy animals are floating. Right, I'm gonna put those over here. Let's see the next one. Ooh, a spoon, this is my favorite spoon. It even has my name on it somewhere, saying rumble. Yeah, there. Anyhow, float or sink, let's watch. Ooh, float. No, sink. Let's get that one out. Here's a silly one. My shaker. Float or sink. Let's see. It. Oh, it's doing both. Its bottom's floating, but its other end is sinking. Cool. Need to let the water drip out of that. Oh, that's a nice sound. Right. I thought I'd try my truck. I don't even know if it's going to fit in the sink. Here we go. Float or sink. Oh, let me see. It's like the... Oh, no, his bottom's going down. No, its head is sinking. Its bottom's floating. I bet my truck never thought he'd be in the water. I've got one more to try here. A balloon. Float or sink? Let's see. <sighs> that one's floating. It's got lots of air in it. But hold on. There's one other thing to try that links with the story. Well, hello. I've come upstairs because I know a story. It was Jesus who floated, who walked on water. So I thought I'd see if I float or sink, because I'm a person. So to do this, I'm rolling my trousers up. I'm gonna roll them all the way up to there. Roll the other one up. Oh, this is a wet feature, isn't it? Right, so let's see. I'm gonna see, can I walk on water or do I sink? Oh. Oh, look, I'm not walking on water. My feet are sinking. And although it's quite fun, it also reminds me of something, that Jesus did something amazing. He didn't sink because he was God. He was able to walk on water. Amazing. We're gonna sing My Lighthouse. Here we go. in today's story felt. I wonder how the disciples felt. They were fishermen, they were used to being out in boats in all kinds of weather, but this storm does sound like it was a particularly scary one. I wonder how Jesus felt, seeing his friends in trouble and rushing to help them. I wonder how Peter felt when he hears Jesus asking him to step out of the boat.
I also wonder how I would feel if I was there in the story. What about you? Do you think you would feel like the disciples? Probably quite scared and afraid in this situation where they don't know what's going to happen. They don't know if they're going to be safe. Would you be like Jesus, able to bring calm and peace to this really scary situation? Would you be like Peter, taking a brave step into the unknown towards Jesus? My favourite moment in this story is when Peter steps out of the boat and onto the water. It only lasts a moment. I don't know what happens. Maybe Peter realises that he's still there in the middle of this really scary storm. Maybe he notices what he's doing, that he's walking across water as if it was solid ground. Whatever goes through his mind, something changes and he begins to fall beneath the waves. But even then, Jesus is there with him. He's with Peter when he's feeling brave and when he's feeling afraid. And he rescues Peter out of the water and brings him to safety. But for that one incredible moment, Peter is walking on the water with Jesus. And he's able to do that because he trusts Jesus. I wonder if you will be able to step out and do something brave this week because you know that Jesus is with you too. Sarah is going to bring us our Messy Church Grace to end our Messy Church service today. So thank you very much for joining us and we will see you next time. Hey guys, I found someone from our Messy Gang who can come and do the grace with us today. Look who's going to appear. It's Rod. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>